How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to install this right here. This is Saigen Mod 12.1. This is installed on the Nexus Player. Um, this has been ported over, I should say, um, supported by D-Hacker. He's an awesome developer. I follow him for a long time. I love his work. Um, and I'm going to show you how to install this software and show you some of the new functionality you'll be getting with CM 12.1 on your Nexus Player. So on that note, let's go do this. All right, let's flash CM 12.1 to our Nexus player. So to do this, um, you're gonna have to go ahead and have some stuff turned on on your device. So let me just kind of walk you through some of that really quickly. We're gonna go into settings and you're gonna have to have, go to about phone or about device. Go down here to the build number, click on it a bunch of times until it says no need, you are already a developer. Then scroll over to here and developer options and turn on USB debugging. Now obviously if you want to install CM12 you're, you're gonna know how to do this because you're gonna have to unlock the bootloader, you're gonna have to install a custom recovery on your device which is uh, Saigen Recovery. So I'll give you links to everything. I have a video on already installing Saigen Recovery so you can watch that if you don't know how to do that and basically turning on developer options and all that is part of that. So from here um, just open a command window on your computer and type in ADB reboot bootloader. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and um, it's going to go ahead and reboot you. Now basically you want to make sure you go ahead and download and put the CM ROM and the Google applications on your device and make sure they're in there in the SD card okay. So let me just walk you through this. This is your Nexus Play right here. I know it's hard to see it. Basically to navigate there's a circle button on the bottom and just click once to scroll and then long click and hold to select. We're going to select recovery mode. Now let go of that and now this is like I said Saigen recovery. So this is by D-Hacker and actually even CM12 is uh, supported by dhacker and he's the one who compiled the ROM for us so big shout out to him for that as well so here's side and recovery like i said i have a video showing how to install this if you want to check that out i'll put it in the video description down below all right so from here first thing i want to do is make sure before you do anything that you have the files on your device and the best way to check to make sure that you can get them from recovery is go down here to apply update and then long click see it turns green let go and then um, one click to scroll and then long click choose from internal storage one to scroll long click for zero and then you can see them right here there's mine CM 12.1 and the special Google applications you need for the Nexus player okay so they're here so as long as they're here that's all I'm worried about let's go ahead and um, scroll all the way down back to here long click this to go back scroll through long click to go back and we're going to wipe data factory reset this device. So, um, worst case scenario, if you have any problems here, you could always flash the stock firmware from Google and get your device back if something fails in the flash. So, not a big deal. I would download that ahead of time just to be sure. So, we're going to do wipe data factory reset. Long click to select it. Yes, delete all user data. And this is going to wipe data factory reset your device. Right now, it's doing that. So shouldn't take too long. You can see the little Android guy right there spinning in circles. So really the navigation is really simple with the button on this bottom of the Nexus player. So that's really cool. Um, let's just let this finish. The way I went ahead and I pushed the files to my SD card so you guys are aware of this is I used a command window. I typed in ADB push the name of the file um, or the directories it's in and everything and then space slash SD card slash that puts it in your SD card like you saw on mine and then you do that for both the ROM and the Google applications and you're good to go so we're uh, wiping here wipe formatting data formatting cache and once that is done we can go ahead and flash this ROM and Google applications I'm pretty excited to see CM12 on here we've all seen the standard Google interface on this device I'm really excited to see how Saigemon 12 works and how it interfaces and how it looks on the Nexus player. 
Okay, it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that update. So scroll down, long click to apply it. Go down a little more, long click again. Again, long click. Side in my 12, long click. And installing system update. So here we go, this is the initial install. Um, pretty nice, I mean, this Saijin recovery has worked good for me. Um, you can flash Super Sue in it if you want, if you just wanna put the recovery on there and then get flash Super Sue to get root access on your device and just root. It does work for that very well. Um, you basically just fast boot flash the recovery image uh, once you have it on like bootloader. So not too big a deal. Let's uh, let this thing install. So this is basically just about done here. You can see the progress bar is almost all the way across at this point. Um, there you go. So we're gonna go back down here to apply update again. Long click, internal long click, zero long click, you, you got the point. And then the Google applications, long click. And let those install as well. Um, they're a little bit smaller file, uh, so shouldn't take that long to install. Let's let these wrap up. So I just want to point out to you guys, there is progress on the side here. I know it's kind of probably hard to make out in the video, but it does give you your progress of what's going on. You don't just have the bar going across right there. You actually do have a breakdown, you know, finding update package, opening update package, verifying update package, installing update, a little header thing, installing files. So there is more to it than just the progress bar. So you can see what's going on. If there's an error or something, you should be able to see it in the log on the side right there. This file should be wrapped up here any second. There we go. All right, so you should be good to go. We're gonna go ahead and select the reboot system. So just long press, turn it green, and let go. And we're gonna be booting up Saijin Mod 12.1 on our Nexus player. So here you go, you can see that's the unlock symbol for the unlock bootloader, it's right there. That is normal. And oh, wee hee hee, check it out. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, I, you know, I'm trying to think if I've seen this boot animation or not. I think I have. I don't know. It's been a while since I installed any side mod ROMs on my devices. I don't think I've installed 12.1, only 12. So cool. Definitely liking it. I always like to see new boot animations, they're always entertaining. Let's let this thing wrap up for the boot. First boot. I'm going to say, again, normal is, what, 5, 10 minutes, something like that. So, you know, always be ready for that. If you have a real bad failure, you can get into bootloader mode again by holding that button on the bottom of your device and, like I said, restore your firmware. But we should be good. Let's let this boot up. I'm going to go through some initial setup, which I am told if you install the correct Google applications will allow you to sync your remote and get that functioning again so you have your remote working. So that's very important that you get the right, correct Google applications. And don't worry, I'll link you to everything to dhackers thread uh, with all the information you're going to need to get this on your device. Let's let this finish. After starting, upgrade, contact, database, finishing boot, and I saw a flicker. That was interesting. So here we go. So searching for Bluetooth accessories. Like I said, this is really important that you guys, you know, do the right stuff here to get the right Google applications for this to work. So, um, Bluetooth devices pair mode. So I think to put it in pair mode, it says press the back and home button at the same time. Should I read the screen, you goof? There it goes. Perfect, paired. All right, let's go do English. Let's see if I can do this. There we go. Wi-Fi, connect up with that. All right, after about 15 minutes of headaches and bumping cameras and messing things up, quite fun actually, quite fun, I realized that you're gonna basically need, see I have a mouse? You're gonna need a mouse and an OTG cable to basically get through your initial setup. Um, I don't wanna help improve Saijin mod. And get everything done. All apps, version improve, blah, blah, blah. Use Wi Fi to help. Determine location, yeah, yeah, yada. And then we're going to go with the start. Basically, you can't hit the start button down there or the skip button until you have a mouse. It just is really, really frustrating. 
So I'm going to try home right now. Actually, let's see if I can do this all from the uh, controller at this point. Yeah, see, it's still being funky without having a mouse. So um, just so you guys can see this, this is an OTG cable. Okay, just a corded mouse. Plug it into the back of your player, and boom, you've got a mouse functional. So we're going to try this one right now just once, just to see the differences between the different launchers. So this launcher looks pretty much standard. It looks exactly like the uh, Nexus Player launcher, which is interesting. Um, there are a couple icons there. Let's let this uh, preparing recommendations kind of finish up. Now, it's kind of weird. Um, I'm seeing one, two in the window corner up there, or two. I'm thinking that means that it's saying it's, what would that be, like uh, two in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, like, like 12.02 in the morning. Aren't available, check back later. So, let's see if we can navigate. So, I can navigate with a remote now, if I'm using this launcher. And you can see you have file manager, yada yada. Let's go into uh, settings. You have you know a couple apps here, a browser which is interesting, music player. Let's go into settings, and so you know pretty standard stuff here. We'll go to about, Nexus player, restart. That's interesting. Model number, Android version right there. 5.1.1 and well there's your build I'm gonna go ahead and turn on developer settings and then let's see what else we got here home screen home screen now you won't see developer settings in here right this minute until you go out and you go back in now developer settings will be there yeah see there they are and you can turn on USB debugging again I highly recommend that so we'll do that one more time. And let's see what we got for home screens. Home screen settings. Customizing recommendations. Zero sources are hidden. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's go back to our home, actually. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that's music. Click on the wrong thing. We'll back out of that. So it doesn't look like it's, it's showing you anything. Let's try hitting the home button. And let's actually select the trebuchet launcher and see what we got in that. So here we go. All right, this, this looks a lot, lot more welcoming. So let's go ahead and play around with it on the mouse. Oh, really cool. Very, very cool. So it looks like it restored some of my applications. Um, interesting. So this is, with the mouse, is really a lot more like, you know, basically Android. Um, and Saijimod for sure. Here's your theme, so you do have that built in. That's pretty cool. Let's look at settings through this thing and see if it's any. Oh, so it is different. Okay. So when you use Trebuchet Launcher, it's basically the standard Saijimod interface. So you have your buttons, um, home stuff, just standard about Android TV devices. So this is very interesting um, just how this functions. Now, I would highly recommend if you're going to use CM12 on your device to definitely get a mouse. You could get a wireless one if you want. might want to also get a wireless keyboard or maybe a keyboard-mouse combo. That's really going to give you a lot more functionality with this. So I'm just going to curiously, you know, just kind of curious. Yeah, so there you go. That's cool. Now you have the full-fledged, um, I'm hoping at least, the full-fledged app store. Well, no, it's still going to be limited to the Nexus Player, but let's just kind of snoop around a little bit. So, yeah, there's still stuff in here. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's more than the Nexus Player. Well, maybe not. Hard to say. You'd have to look around. But at least you have, like, you know, your standard-looking market, which is cool. Yeah, this is eh, hard to say. It looks like it's more, but I don't know. Until I play around with it, I won't know, really. So, there you go. That's that. We're going to go back. Oh, that's an awesome game. Leo, Leo's Fortune or whatever. Really cool game. So, yeah. Let's go back out of here. Meaning, um, getting some of those applications like the Chain Fires launcher for the device. So, I'm going to actually, we're going to switch back. We're going to go to our other home. Here we go, and go to the just normal home screen. 
Yeah, so right here, normally you'd have a bunch more applications. I mean, the, the kind of downside here is that it looks like you don't even have like your normal Play Store in here or anything. Um, you can obviously get them from the other side, but you can't. Looks like you can't really launch any applications through this interface. Um, your rec recommendations aren't available at this time. Don't know what's up with that. Um, you know, you can do your browser, which is cool, I guess. So again, I would highly recommend that you go ahead and have a mouse because just the navigation of this screen is very lacking with the. Uh, with the controller but with the mouse or a keyboard you know you'd be really good now you can see there's come up with your keyboard there so you could still use it and just have a mouse but if you have a mouse might as well hook up a keyboard that's at least the way I look at it let's go back out of it and let's go back to the air launcher so trebuchet so I don't, know, I don't know what do you guys think I mean you can see you can scroll here you know with your mouse um, I'm not sure. Let me see if you can actually. Yeah, you can scroll with the. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, you can see you can scroll around with that. I wonder if you can do. Okay, Google. Let's see. Oh, interesting. So you have to set this up. So yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty wicked cool, actually. I mean, pretty neat. Definitely way more functionality when it comes down to having SideJamod 12 on your device. So there you go guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video here of CM12 install on the Nexus player. Definitely keyboard and mouse, definitely um, check out the thread on XDA. Again, big shout out to DHacker for his work on this. I'm going to play around with mine some more, hopefully discover some cool things on here, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.